I think for me, obviously, the off-roading with the trailer, um, I never knew if I could do it or not. Um, so now I feel a bit more confidence, but when you go buy something like this and you watch the videos, it's always exciting to see what Shane and the rest of the gang, I guess the crazy gang do. So um, this seemed like a good opportunity to do something in a more controlled environment. You really don't know how you can perform, drive and tow this beast. I think it took longer because everyone was so careful and looked after one another and try to really make sure, you know, everyone's trailer is in order and everyone feels comfortable because we're not the only ones who are like first timers, like off-road um, today. So that was a really actually safe uh, experience. I think we felt like cared for, I think, you know, with the radios, yeah. like just uh, yeah, letting us know, the yeah, and, the turns. And, and where, to, where to position the truck to go over That's the right, yeah. somewhat <laughs> large uh, rocks that were down the bottom. There was one part, I think, where, I think you guys must be out filming it, but you know, I had no idea how we would do that. Um, if, it, if I'd have done that on my own, who knows what would have happened. It would have been a... I probably had some choice words for you. <laughs> but you know, the people ahead were doing it, so we're good. It was all good. We just followed <laughs> it wrong. That's right, yeah, yeah. we just watched each other. It was great, it's actually not that far. It's not that, um, it's not that intimidating anymore, I think. Yeah. But the thing about this location is that this is a really busy weekend, right? It's a holiday weekend. And we came up here and it feels remote. You know, kind of you're away from the crowds and you don't have to do super advanced booking as some, you know, camping site here in advance or something like that. So, oh, yeah. yeah, so you get super views, great company and... Um, Learned a lot. Yeah, learn a lot, but also, you know, in the middle, end of July, when everyone else is trying to do the same thing as you do, you just have greater capabilities. <laughs> we went to the caves and that was the third time, the third attempt at going to the caves and for us. And a successful us. one. So With thank the you, group Angela, for that. Time, yes. um, no, it, it was the caves were great. Hiking up to the top and going through the caves, you know, they, they are spectacular. The Timpanagas cave in itself, uh, just amazing. So but yeah, also not that far from here, from a camping location, which is so I don't know for us. I think at this point is unique. You're remote and removed. And then all of a sudden, you know, 30 minutes and you're in civilization and you can go to a national monument or, you know, a ski resort um, or, or get some cat food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it was a great day. It was good. We went hiking, we went down to Cascade Springs and wandered around the springs there. Uh, quite remarkable reading about the reason why it exists um, and the amount of water that flows every day. Uh, and then we decided to go and do an extra hike um, up to Primrose Peak and that was spectacular. You know, the mountains you might see on the videos behind us, we were literally one valley over um so, so like we were up close you up can close. see the waterfalls the and it was snow. only it was only 1.6 miles one way so it's really not that far and the trailhead is nearby like what within 20 minutes from this campsite actually oh, that's yeah great. and also that trailhead apparently has 12 other hikes from the kids so they're unlimited hiking options you know around here yeah there's a lot of you know people here who haven't done a lot of camping so we're all in the same boat together so i think you know, just being able to share what we've done and hopefully inspire someone um, to try and get inspired by others. I think that's really the, the thing for me. This is, this is a great life to lead and uh, you know, if I can work and do this, that's even better. Work remote, remote, as I like to say. And uh, it's great for me. Um, we can sort of disappear midweek and get to a campground and 
you know, set up and then we can have the whole weekend to go do some fun things. And, and yeah. work and play, basically. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah, but for this event, I think for me it was also um, just discovering a sense of community and how friendly everyone is and some people are new and others are not, but it, you can't necessarily even tell the difference because people are very welcoming. Um, and it's less about, for me, learning, you know, new tips and tricks, but just talking to people and, and learning about them and their different walks of life, um, where they're from geographically. You know, it's fascinating sharing food, like uh, having different cultural experiences, right? Because people come from different cultures and they bring a little bit of that to the table, literally. <laughs> um, I think that was really, really, uh, I wouldn't say surprising, but um, very pleasant for me to discover that, you know, it's sort of like your old friends we just met a few days ago. <laughs> but camping together really makes a different experience because all of your houses, you're all of a sudden neighbors <laughs> you know, next to one another. Um, this was fantastic, really. Mm -hmm.